Well, turning to our health beat story tonight, as a recent survey finds that seven out of 10 teens are struggling with their mental health in the wake of COVID-19. More than half said the pandemic has increased their feelings of loneliness. If this is a similar story for your family, WGEM's Don Dwyer has some tips on how to help your teen cope. 15-year-old Julia Byrne loves playing the trumpet. But her parents' divorce and a move across the country made some much-loved activities a little less exciting. I just isolated myself and kept myself like from doing things that I would enjoy because I thought I just like didn't deserve them. Then COVID-19 happened and she was forced to be even more isolated. Which has just been like hard and it's contributed to like me being suicidal for some time. Julia was not alone. This isolation has caused a lot of issues for, for teens. 43% of teens say they've experienced depression. 45% have experienced excessive stress. 55% experience anxiety due to the pandemic. So what can parents do? We have to empathize. We have to listen, actively listen to what's going on. Create a safe space where your teens can talk about anything. And don't be afraid to ask your teen if they're thinking about hurting themselves. There's a stigma that if you talk about suicide, then that might increase the opportunity for kids to attempt suicide or think about suicide when the research says it's the exact opposite. Adair normalizes talking about mental health in his book, Stronger Than Stigma. And he says when parents normalize the conversation, you rationalize it. When you talk about it, you make it something that you can work out. Exercising and talking to a therapist has turned things around for Julia. It was able to just help me like focus on my mental health and finally start to like pick myself up from that spiral. Allowing her to tune in to more positive notes. Don Dwyer, WGEM News. Now from 